2022 was filled with astounding performances by both male CU artists and 2D groups. The production quality has risen a whole lot to the point that almost all songs you come across will sound near perfect. Say you are taking singing incredibly seriously, some of them being insanely innovative doing things no other Say You artist has done. Some 2D groups have a defined, robust identity that they are proud of and we, as fans, are seeing them grow before our eyes and ears. In this episode, let's celebrate the best songs released by 2D groups and male Say You artists in 2022. Let's kick off this episode of Say You Lounge. Welcome to Say You Lounge. I am your host, Vanessa, and today's topic is Best Songs Released by Male Say You Artists and 2D Groups in 2022. This is that type of episode in which I have, or I had the challenge of transforming my list of over 100 favorite songs released in 2022 into a brief 20 song top. So what can you expect in this episode? I'll be sharing with you which were the 10 best songs released by male CEO artists and simultaneously the 10 best songs released by 2D groups. This distinction is made in order to celebrate both the projects and the solo artists active in the music industry. Please notice that I did not rank any of the songs in this episode because uh, simply I can't. Depending on what I want to experience or the energy boost I need, these songs may shuffle their ranks quite a lot. As such, I will be talking about the best songs released in 2022 after reviewing over 150 different CDs this year only from over 14 different 2D music projects and over 12 male CU artists and bands. I try to keep it to one entry per artist to give more exposure to a wider variety of artists. However, if you are aware of the activity of some Seiyuu solo artists in 2022, there is one that gets a double feature in this episode. So how did I choose the songs for this episode? Quality of the vocals, first and foremost quality of the instrumentals, which is to say how well they convey a story, how unique they are, which is also to say not sounding like anything else out there, and how intricate they may be. Also the best entries in the CDs they are from, and as well the overall enjoyment listening to the songs for the very first time, but also after I review them. As it is tradition with this type of feature, you will find an extended Spotify playlist of over 60 songs that I consider the most impressive released this year. This playlist is only missing the artists that do not have music available on Spotify internationally, but still, there are awesome songs for you to discover in this playlist. Now, without further ado, let's talk about the 10 best songs by 2D Groups. Reiji Amaha with Turn Around Again. This was one of the earliest releases of 2022 and yes, it is still one of the very best. Turn Around Again has the makings of a dance floor anthem with its big party sound, however, it is its mature and elegant approach to that sound, matching Takuya Sato's vocals and Reiji's vibe that instantly grabs the listener's attention. And if the intoxicating instrumental is not enough to grab your attention, just pay closer attention to the stunner of a performance delivered by Takuya Sato. This is the very first time that fans got to listen to him perform in head voice, showcasing that he is much, much more than just a baritone that has a cool high bass range. He is actually quite versatile, having a wide vocal range, being a master of several techniques and styles, and overall has insanely underrated singing skills that shine to no end in this performance. When Turn Around Again wraps up, you're already hitting that play button again. Gyroaxia with New Era 
a statement song signaling the end of a new chapter and the start of another. But not any chapter, a confident one under a major music level, one of the most impressive steps a 2D rock band has ever managed to take. Jaroaxia's new era is a treat for fans of shock rock, however, I was not expecting the band, up until now known for their fast-paced, punk rock-inspired mix with hardcore, to go the emotional route and bring out a stone-cold stunner with a shock rock sound straight from the late 90s. The band absolutely nailed that feeling of emptiness and raw emotions that the genre is all about. It is loud and violent, while being fairly simple, something that, after so many complex rock tunes in freestyle, arrives as welcomed to change the pacing. This is a song that arrives as a statement of the band's dreams and intent with this new direction. It is intense, exciting and fancy at times, with Jin Ogasawara's mix of rapping and clean singing adding the cherry on top in what is a memorable song, the band's best song to date. Sir Vanity Will Sir Vanity, rock band fronted by Yuichiro Umehara and Yoshiki Nakajima, has been making waves in the music industry with their irreverent sound. And while the band loves to experiment with several rock subgenres, it was with Will that they delivered their best performance to date. The tone is dark and decadent. It almost feels like the moment before giving up. It is crucial, raw and violent, and the instrumental reflects that, going straight for your feelings. The guitars scream, the drums are pounding in the background. The sound, as a whole, is violent, and it is clear the hardcore influences in the instrumental. Will goes loud and straight for your heart, with Yuichiro Mehara and Yoshiki Nakajima making sure to hit the final nails in the coffin, delivering a raw performance mixing clean vocals with melodic low parts, falsetto, harmonies and vibrato. Although underappreciated, Will is a fantastic song, one of the best released in 2022. Erosion's Toxin with Haksha Erosion is one of the most consistent 2D rock bands out there. Since their debut, the five vocal rock band has been delivering some of the most exciting, innovative and emotional rock tunes for fans of the music genre to enjoy. However, among all the songs released in the first half of 2022, the only time of the year that the band was active is Toxin's Haksha. The symphonic rock tune performed by Toxin, voiced by Shoya Chiba, is one of the most complex and grandiose songs released by the franchise and it counts with an emotional performance that will leave goosebumps all over your skin. One thing that easily stood out for me is how dark this song is, while staying classy and dramatic at the same time. It gives off a love metal vibe that Shoya ends up turning into a tragically beautiful yet heart-wrenching song with his four baritone vocals, with a twinge of musical style drama on top. When Haksha wraps up, you're left with your emotions in a messy state. Link Posse, Kizuato Gakizna Tonaru. Kizuato Gakizna Tonaru brought laid back 90s hip hop sound that was both a first for Fling Posse as well as a massive change in tone for the franchise. Atmospheric scenes sparkle in the background. On top, a punchy bassline, a slow paced hi hat driven beat, and a Rhodes piano add an elegant twist to the vast soundscape in front of you. The verses feel like a warm evening in the summer. Passionate, cozy, with happiness overflowing. When you get to the chorus, you're overwhelmed by the good vibes, passion and joy. On a first listen, this chorus will catch you by surprise because the song sounds happy and is, indeed, a happy song. Fling Posse appears for the very first time without a mask covering their faces and what you feel is pure joy and good vibes. I could listen to this song time and time again and I wouldn't get tired of it. Inmate with Break Out of Here Inmate made its debut in the Paradox Live franchise in 2022 and with it came a unique brand of chill hip-hop with passive-aggressive lyrics and an impressive lineup to boot. 
Break Out of Here is all about its minimalistic hip-hop sound with a big funky piano melody leading the way. The instrumental is surprisingly clean and simple, however with a groove that is impossible not to love. The verses are dreamy, having a feel-good vibe to them with atmospheric synths painting the soundscape in a way that you will want to lose yourself in these vibes. When the time arrives for the chorus to kick in, you're already jamming like crazy to this song, enjoying the performances of Amatsuki, Ryoki Tamura and Shuachiba. As far as aesthetics go, this song is among the best I've heard in 2022. It's impossible not to be drawn to that wide, clean and groovy soundscape. Lolodi with Abortive Flower While Black Pulse is the song that seems to have left the deepest mark for fans of the talented lyrical pop trio, it was actually Abortive Flower that I feel was the song that arrived to completely trash your emotions around, pick you up and then bury you. This is a visceral performance with a spine-chilling delivery by Toshiki Toyonaga, Shunsuke Takeuchi and Daiki Yamashita. The clock continues to tick in the background, legato strings enter the scene, fading away from your sight. And then a somber piano melody further fleshes out this solemn instrumental. As far as vocals go, Abortive Flower is mind-blowing. The key word for this performance is emotion and all members cranked up those in the way they deliver their lines. You will feel the weight, you will mourn alongside them. You feel like you lost a part of you, you feel empty. This song is a marvel to listen to and pay closer attention to the little details in the orchestration by Takeshi Hama, but also of how emotional the vocals go at times being on the verge of sounding like sobs, silent cries for someone dear. While this is not a song to listen all the time, given how dark it is, it is certainly a memorable one with one of the standout performances of the year. Tobari's Kuroi Hashiba with Setsunateki Blessed Kuroi Hashiba's Setsunateki Blessed is all about its eerily explosive emotional sound and powerful performance. And as soon as it kicked off, I knew Takeshihama had his hand in the composition. It was too dark and violent, it was a perfect mix of rock and orchestral music. It was tailored for Tetsuo Sumia's vocals. The contrast between an emotional, heart bare side of the character and the darkness and twisted feelings going on on the other side left quite the mark on me. This is a display of violence, words and music that will render you speechless the first time you listen to it. And Sumia's performance stands out for its technicality and emotional range. He goes from those breathy mid-tones in the intro versus his delicate high ones in the pitch vocals to muffled, violent vocals in the pre-chorus until you get to his raw emotional vocals in the chorus. When Setsunateki Blast wraps up, you'll be wanting more of these. You will be wanting Tobari to bring more of these to their music and you will also understand why Tetsue Sumia is one of the most exciting new talents in the 2D music industry. Anthos Mirage in Mirage When it comes to unique songs, you can always count on Anthos. Mirage in Mirage arrives to sweep you off your feet. This is a dreamy song, it has desire and love at its core. It is an extremely warm song coming from Anthos, and it has hands down the best performance by the group to date. The harmonies and unique lineups on the vocal end, the sweet ritualistic ethereal sound and that insanely catchy chorus were more than enough to grab my full attention in complete awe throughout as each member pulled their aces to the stage, determined to impress everyone. This song is ridiculously good, easily a highlight in 2022. Trigger with Hidden Region Trigger celebrated its 7th anniversary in 2022 with the release of what is the grooviest song of 2022, Hidden Region. 
70s disco takes over for the very first time for the group, however, instead of being a cheesy take on the music genre, the instrumental was tailored to the group's elegant and mature vibe. The unity and chemistry in Trigger can be felt in this performance that is flawless on the vocal end, from the quality down to the way they connect with each other from part to part. This is a throwback to the good old times of fancy disco and funk music, but approached from a modern lens, giving a mature twist to Trigger's music, but also not forgetting their origins and essence. Stellar vocals and an equally stellar instrumental shine in what is a sleeper hit tune by Trigger. Best songs released by male seiyu artists. Makoto Furukawa with Hikari no Kairo. Makoto Furukawa was on a roll in 2022, having released two stellar singles filled with stylish jazz performances and with some of the trickiest vocals he has tackled so far in his solo career. Among the collection of amazing songs he released this year, there is a track that stood out more for me. It is Hikari no Kairo. The song present in the anime edition of Ware Bara Niinsu is a fantastic reminder of how ridiculously good Makoto Furukawa is as a singer and why more people should give a chance to his unique brand of jazz that now pins more to a fusion style, much in the likes of acid jazz. Everything I love about Furukawa as a solo artist is represented by a beautiful instrumentalization. It's the staccato strings, slowly introducing the listener to this sweet down-tempo tune. The cello intro with a unique Latin influence in there. It is the elegance and seductive vibe about Makoto Furukawa's performance. This is a stellar entry in his repertoire and an undisputed top 10 best song released in 2022. Shunichi Toki with Original Scenery There are good songs, but there's also perfect songs and those are not commonly found, even among the numerous songs released by male seiyuu artists. However, Shunichi Toki managed to pull off not only one of the best songs in 2022, but also released one of the best albums of the year with Good 4. Within this stellar album is Original Scenery, a song that goes strong on early 90s hip-hop and pop to deliver a stylish and groovy tune that will have you both singing as well as dancing along to it. The approach is quite mature and contained, making sure that there's only good vibes in the instrumental and that the homage paid to the 90s music is well done. There are 808 beats, vocoder vocals, the spraying synth and brass stabs, the funky guitar riffs and punchy bassline. And there, on top of it all, is Shunichi Toki's fancy mid-tone vocals dazzling you. Yumuchida with your words. Although most people will only pay closer attention to the leading tracks in Yumuchi the singles, it's actually the B-side tracks that impress a whole lot. And it's in ballads that Uchida excels, putting his vocal prowess into full display. Your Words is a rock ballad that goes deep on your feelings, with grandiose strings, bassy and intense guitar riffs, a sweet yet pounding beat, however, at the same time, with a gentle, delicate piano melody leading the way. In the moments of quietness, Yumuchida shows constraint to his emotions, slowly carrying you over to the powerful chorus in which he brings forth beautiful high notes performed in head voice, adds some R&B riffing and just delivers a performance that is made for you to enjoy in silence. Beautiful and emotional, Your Words shines among the songs released in 2022 by male seiyuu artists. Jinho Gasawara, Black Cat One of the most impressive releases of the year was undoubtedly Jinho Gasawara's Black Cat. This single features five different music genres mashed together in one of the most stylish mixes I've ever heard. From breakbeat hip-hop to trap, synthwave, 50s rock and pop, 
Ogasawara does everything in this song, showcasing both his versatility as a singer, but also the limitless possibilities for his sound as a solo artist coming forward. Innovative and filled with neat surprises left and right, Jin Ogasawara's Black Cat is easily one of the best songs released in 2022. Miu Irinu with Just Give Me The Love If Miu Irinu is releasing music, you know that for sure there will be one song that will absolutely dazzle you. For me, it was Just Give Me The Love from Irinu's eclectic mini-album No Concept. Now, this is a song that brings the best of Irino's performances and sound to the spotlight. As soon as you press play in this song, you'll be taken to a Broadway production. From the gospel choir to the intimate setting for this song, the stylish instrumental and Irino's head voice performance, Just Give Me The Love is a delight to listen to at all times. And it is a song that makes me wish Irino was more active as a singer than he currently is. Mamoru Mianu with The Entertainment Early 90s R&B meets 70s funk and disco to create one of the coolest songs released in 2022. Mamoru Mianu made this long-awaited comeback with the seventh album, The Entertainment, and what fans got with its new tracks was a thing of beauty. Among the various highlights in this album is the title track The Entertainment, song that is so stylish and fun, perfectly encompassing who Miano is as an artist. A pure entertainer that does know how to put on a show with his singing skills. Listening to the entertainment was almost like going back to Miano's 2009 album Break, easily one of my favorite CDs of his. However, you can tell just how much Miano has grown as a performer and singer when you listen to this performance. His technique is off the charts, his R&B riffing is second to none, and you will for sure wrap up listening to this song with a massive grin on your face. Gakuto Kajiwara with Otona Gakuto Kajiwara keeps on impressing with each CD he releases. The talented singer-songwriter has been showing more and more of his tastes and personality as a solo artist, and what listeners get is always a collection of warm and fuzzy semi-acoustic pop rock songs that will feel like a warm hug after a tiring day. Among the songs released this year, Otona is the one that stood out the most for me. City Pop takes over, but in a sort of unplugged ballad way, bringing forth a mature side of the solo artist that is Kajiwara. And although the whole song is amazing, what shines the most in it is undoubtedly the chorus. It has a bit of a retro twist to it, embracing hip-hop, with its bouncy bassline, but also a cheeky fun side to it, which is from 90s pop, as well as the neon lights soundscape created by the distant funky guitar riffs. This song feels like going on a trip. It feels good. And I want to keep having it on repeat. Kentito with Mayonaka No Love not only was Kentito's solo debut the best one in 2022, but Mayonaka no Love is also one of the best debut singles ever released by a male Seiyu artist. This stylish city pop tune explores love and desire through a mature and tasteful sound, bringing a punchy bassline, funky guitar riffs, splashy drums, and beautiful piano melodies as the perfect backdrop for Kentito's smooth vocals. This is a song that shows that city pop should be a more regularly used music genre and can lead to fantastic results, bringing all the class and maturity you can get, while perfectly complementing the voice leading the way. In this case, Kentito arrived with My Onakano Love and literally swept a lot of people off their feet one of the highlights of 2022. Soma Saito with Uzumibi The master of intricate concepts, mind-blowing stories and crazy performances made a long-awaited comeback in 2022 
after a 2021 without any CD releases. And fans got two ridiculously good EPs with My Beautiful Valentine and In Yang. My Beautiful Valentine is all about surrealism and the dark, twisted things that he, as the narrator, can do to you while tricking you into thinking that everything is supposedly okay. But there is a chapter in the story you go through in My Beautiful Valentine that leaves a deep mark. It is the spine-chilling Uzumibi. This song is really dark, grim, pitch black. It feels like you have no way out of the story. It is contempt after destructing everything around you, yet at the same time it is despair because there is no way out of these twisted nightmares Saito carefully created for you since the very first song. Uzumibi is a descent to madness and a new start all within the same track. This is a song all about its little details both on the lyrics, the performance by Soma Saito that covers all his vocal range and mixes clean with whisper style of singing as well as the instrumental. This is easily one of the best songs ever released by a male seiyuu artist. Soma Saito with Mirrors Although Ying Yang is a brighter EP in comparison with My Beautiful Valentine, at its core it is quite the destructive EP and I dare say more intense. In this EP you experience paradise, go mad in power, quickly destroy everything and yourself and ultimately confront yourself in front of the mirror and decide to kill off a side of you. All of these while you're mockingly judged by Soma Saito, the narrator, the saint-like figure that created the paradise you decided to destroy. And the breaking point in this EP arrives with the visceral mirrors. By this point you are already aware that it is your fault everything went wrong in this story. It was you that destroyed everything. You are both good and evil. Yet you want to quiet a side of you. Which do you decide to kill off? Isn't it pointless to begin with, as everything you do will simultaneously be good and bad depending on the people affected by you or have good or bad consequences at the same time? Soma Saito puts you in a morally tricky situation in here and as the backdrop for these almost philosophical set of questions you have one of the most cinematic and grim songs you can get. The soundscape may sound dreamy but there is nothing dreamy about it. The guitars slowly create the stage for Saito's whisper style head voice to take over and glue you to your seat. This is an extremely emotional performance performed in such a cold and raw way, something that perfectly encompasses the dilemma that listeners have in their hands. The moments of quiet provide you time to reflect on your actions, leaving the piano and dreamy atmospheric scenes only as the background to Saito's echoing vocals. When the chorus arrives, the facade is no more and all the emotions come pouring out and it is hauntingly beautiful. When this song wraps up, you'll be on the verge of tears. Emotions drained. A choice made. It is a visceral song and it is the best one of 2022. As I said before, 2022 was awesome. The quality of the music and the performances rose quite a lot and you can feel Seiyu taking 2D groups more seriously than ever before. There are 2D music franchises that are heavily betting on each group having a unique sound tied to their identity. For example, Paradox Live, Hanadol and Idolish 7. And there are franchises that within a specific music genre are able to create unique songs that fit each performer like a glove. The best example of this is the vocalists in the Dear Vocalist franchise. 
This year, two the groups were less afraid to go dark with their music, with Lolodi and Tobari showing that you can go dark and deliver spine-shivering performances that will make you think and leave you in awe. As far as solo artists go, it was noticeable that many were shifting their sound around, perhaps trying to find something they love instead of what they have been comfortably performing, or even trying to find the perfect spot for them as solo artists. When it came to innovation, there was only one Seiyuu artist that risked it all, creating two of the most intricate and well-pulled-off concepts of the year. It was Soma Saito. He continues to set himself apart from all Seiyuu artists, actually no longer sounding like a Seiyuu artist, but just an artist. Yumochida, Toshiki Masuda, Mamoru Miyano and Makoto Furukawa left fans wanting more and more after releasing very few songs in 2022. Shunichi Toki impressed with his 90s revival, and I could go on and on about this year's music. 2022 was a fantastic year for fans of 2D music and male Seiyuu artists. It is filled with quality music on almost every music genre out there, featuring some of the most unique singing voices in the industry. It was exciting, thought-provoking at times, and all around fascinating to listen to. So tell me, which songs released in 2022 had you on the edge of your seat or were on replay for you? Share your favorite songs in the comments on YouTube. I love to find new songs to check out or even be reminded of songs I love but completely forgot about. Also, I believe it would be awesome for everyone following the podcast to actually get new suggestions of music to check. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed this episode and don't want to miss the Hand at Fizz HQ's weekly mail say you and music-related content. I'll return next week with another episode of Say You Lounge. Merry Christmas if you celebrate it. Thank you for listening to this episode and I'll see you guys around. <laughs> <laughs>